Hey guys, welcome back to Hash Include Electronics with another video. And in this video, we are going to add pan and tilt control for ESP32 camera using servo motors. Using this assembly, we can rotate the camera horizontally and vertically from 0 degrees to 180 degrees. This can easily be used as surveillance camera in our home. We will capture images using ESP32 camera module and send these images to our mobile phone using WebSocket through Wi-Fi connection. We will control camera rotation using our own mobile app. So let's get started and make it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit subscribe button below and press bell icon to get latest updates. For making this pan tilt control, we will need ESP32 cam module, pan tilt servo assembly, SG90 servo motors, we will need two servos. 5V AC-DC adapter for power supply, Arduino Uno for uploading code, breadboard and few jumper wires. Let's assemble the pan tilt bracket and fix servos. This will be the pan servo. This will be the tilt servo. We need to make sure that this servo's initial position is in the middle. Now let's make a connection as per circuit diagram. Connect pan servo to IO14 pin of ESP32 cam module. Connect tilt servo to IO15 pin. Now provide plus 5 and ground to ESP32 cam module from AC-DC adapter. Also provide plus 5 and ground to servos. Fix ESP32 camera module on bracket now. Let's take a quick look at the code. First we need to install ESP32 board using Arduino board manager. I have provided the ESP32 board link in the description below. Go to file, then go to preferences and add the ESP32 board link. Then go to tools and then board manager and search for ESP32 and install it. 
After that, we need to install the async TCP and async web server library. Download these libraries from the links provided in the description below. Once downloaded, go to Sketch, Include Library and then click on Add Zip File. Select the downloaded zip library file and click Add. Similarly, add async web server library as well. Now we need to set one parameter which is very important step so that video runs smoothly. Go inside your sketch folder then libraries folder. Search for ESP async web server folder and then go inside src folder. Open async websocket.h file and change ws max queued messages to 1 for our ESP32 board and save it. Now we need to install ESP32 servo library as well for controlling servo motors. Go to tools and then manage library. Search for ESP32 servo and install it. Now we need to include the ESP camera, async TCP library and async web server library. Also we need to include ESP32 servo library. We have defined two dummy servo pins. This is needed so that our servo library does not interfere with PWM channel and also timer used by camera. After that define pan and tilt servo pins as IO14 and IO15. We have created object for two dummy servos and pan tilt servos. After that we have defined some constants for camera settings. We need to set the SSID and password for our ESP32 Wi-Fi. We have created web server at port number 80. We will be using WebSocket for camera and servo input control. We have defined pin for LED flashlight as IO4. Then we have created HTML page for our camera control app and stored it in HTML homepage variable. This is main page which will be displayed on mobile. It has the image section to display the video and also has slider to control pan and tilt. The mean and max value for pan tilt slider is 0 and 180 respectively. When pan or tilt slider is selected on mobile, it will send current slider name and also value to ESP32 module using WebSocket. We have created WebSocket to display the images sent from camera. We have handle root function which will send HTML page when we type IP address on mobile browser. We have on servo input WebSocket event callback function which will be called when ESP32 receives any value from mobile. If received key is pan then we will rotate pan servo as per slider value received. If received key is tilt then we will rotate tilt servo as per slider value received. If received key is light then we will control the light. We have on camera web socket event callback function which will be called when we get request for video stream. Once connected we will set the client id. We have created setup camera function to init the camera. Then we have created send camera picture function which will capture the image and send it to camera web socket client. We have created setup pin mode function to set up the servos. It will attach servo pins to servo objects. Also we need to set up PWM for controlling LED flashlight. Inside setup function we will call setup pin mode function. Then begin Wi-Fi using soft AP mode. Set up callback function on root and on not found. Then attach the websocket handler to web server. Now begin the Wi-Fi server. Also set up the camera. Inside loop function we just need to call cleanup client function to clean up old client connections. We will also capture and send the camera images. I have provided the link to the code in the description below you can upload it directly. In our case, we will use Arduino Uno for uploading the code into ESP32 CAM module. Check my previous video on ESP32 CAM car for detailed explanation on how to upload code using Arduino Uno. Power on adapter now. Let's open mobile app now. Go to Wi-Fi settings and connect to now I see you SSID using password as 12345678. Open Google Chrome browser on mobile and type 192.168.4.1. It will open our camera pan tilt control app. Sometimes we might have to reconnect the Wi-Fi if the app does not open. That's it. Let's see how it works.
There are few points which we need to remember while making this ESP32 cam car. First, we need to set the WS Max queued messages to 1, otherwise the video will be very slow. Second, if video is not displayed on the app, then reconnect the Wi-Fi on the mobile and try again. Do not connect IO16 pin of ESP32 cam. It is used internally by PSRAM. If uploading of code fails, then try after reconnecting USB cable to laptop. Make sure to provide proper 5V DC supply only. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Stay safe and please like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.